Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna and I'm your manifestation coach. All the information from me is below. My coaching is unlike any other coaching on the internet. Please do your research and see that I'm not just bragging, I'm telling the truth. I mainly coach in audio exchange between you and I. I coach as well in emails and phone calls, but primarily my coaching is audio exchange based. What does that mean? We go through everything in my coaching, starting with your childhood, your adolescence, the way you grew up, your mom, dad, siblings, um, your boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, husbands, any kind of situation that you've lived through up until today, which will help me map out your history and understand the kinds of beliefs that you have inherited um, from your parents, um, the kinds of beliefs that you've downloaded through your experiences. This is a very thorough kind of coaching. I go through your audio, which has to be maximum 20 minutes, more than once. I take extensive notes. I analyze the audio. Some parts I listen to at least five, 10 times, simply because I have... A, I mean, I my clientele is worldwide. I have all sorts of personalities from all over the world. Um, sometimes I just need to get used to how you speak, but some things I need to replay more than once in order to make sure I understood everything you said and the way you said it, what words you chose to say, and the emotion behind it. The reason it's so beneficial, this audio exchange based um, coaching is because it takes time to record an audio. It takes time to think about what you want to say, what you want to write down and then say to me. And likewise, coming back to you with my own audio, which far exceeds the 20 minute mark, usually. It takes me time, it takes me two to three hours to go through it in earnest, write down all my notes and then record my audio and reply. So it's a very thorough process, <clears throat> really um, beneficial because we take our time. This is seriously the most extraordinary thorough coaching that you will ever receive because we really do our due diligence on what we need to change in your belief system because the belief system is the one that needs to change in order for you to have a different experience in your life today. I have different packages on my website. The information is below on my website. Um, I recommend the monthly unlimited, which is audio based. There's also uh, um, the monthly unlimited complete, which is mostly phone calls. That is really good too for those of you who want to be on the phone with me regularly throughout the month. I usually recommend two to three months in coaching with me to do the complete work, to go through your history, to go through all the processes and exercises that I offer. And I really ask that you come humble, you come open, you be honest about everything and that you complete my coaching. Okay, there are some people in my, 99% of the people stay with me for the duration, but there are a couple people who um, thought that they, they got it now, they downloaded everything, and didn't complete my coaching, and they later on um, came back to complete it because they ended up interrupting it thinking that you know, they now know what's going on and how they have to do it. But then later came back and realized that um, the coaching isn't done until it's really done. And you really need to put in the time to better yourself. I will trigger you in my coaching. There's no question about it. I'm very straightforward, very direct. I don't beat around the bush. I don't have that kind of time, quite frankly. Um, it's not for everybody, my coaching. There's no question about that either. I will push your buttons. It will not be easy. This is not a trip to Disneyland. Okay, this is a boot camp where your emotions will be triggered. Your past pro programming will be triggered. It's my job to do so. 
Otherwise, it's just another therapy session where you don't achieve any fucking results. Many people come into my coaching telling me that they've had this coach, that coach, <clears throat> this practice, that practice, this therapist, that therapist, and absolutely nothing came of it. When you sign up for my coaching, I go the, on the assumption that, first of all, you've watched one, more than one of my videos, that you understand my personality, and that you're serious about the change in your life. Because I am just as serious about every single one of my clients, and I put in 250% in every single one of them. And I expect the same for my clients to show up and do the job. I cannot do your push-ups for you. Um, I will never disrespect you, but like I said, I will push your buttons. I will push you to be your best self. If you do the work correctly and you take my guidance, you will see results. I've done this over 88 years, not 80. <laughs> I'm not that old. Over eight years now, and every single time the person ta has taken my guidance, there have been extraordinary results. Like I said, I can do your push-ups for you. I can only instruct you, and hopefully you'll take the cue. I mostly get along with people in my coaching, which are 99% of the time. Um, who appreciate my frankness and, in fact, encourage me to be very frank. This is what I get paid to do. So if, it, if you don't have that personality who can take um, honest, constructive feedback, completely honest, completely raw, completely brutally honest, this is not for you, okay? I've dealt with all sorts of cases in my coaching, you name it, I've dealt with it. Uh, molestation in the past, in the childhood, addictions, abuse, uh, you name it. And if I trigger you in my coaching, is to help you relieve your pain. This is what I'm here for, to help you relieve your dysfunctional um, system that is in operation right now. So to get into my coaching, you need to pre-book. You need to pay ahead, you need to email me and let me know what kinds of issues you'd like to work on. If you'd like an introduction phone call to decide whether or not um, I am a co the coach for you, on my website you can all also book the, um, the telephone session. Um, and then later I can apply it to your package, whichever one um, you will select. I also have telephone session um, packages on um, my website as well as the seminar for up to 10 people and I've also coached coaches. There's a package for that if you'd like to become a coach um, of your own and develop your own practice. Um, I've already produced uh, quite a few coaches I might say and they're doing very well. Again, if you have any questions before booking, please email me. Um, my email and phone number are directly below. Um, if you'd like to schedule a phone session, then um, please wait for me to reply. Okay, uh, don't just call me. <laughs> All right, the um, subject of today is they are thinking what you're thinking. And of course, this is a reference to SP, specific person, it could be your lover, it could be your friend, your co-worker, relative, what have you. But 90% of the time, the people that come to my coaching, um, they have problems with their specific people, i.e. lovers, husbands, ex-husbands, ex-wives, current wives, partners of any kind. <clears throat> and usually there is a problem some of some kind. They went through a separation. In some cases, there's a lot of cases, there's no contact. There was a, either a misunderstanding, some kind of clash, some kind of a circumstance, or it's hot and cold, no movement. Basically, uh, the two of them are not together. And the question is all, always asked, first of all, how did I manifest it? And then what are they thinking in our separation? Okay, I've covered this before, but I'm going to cover it again because I have so many emails about this situation and comments on my YouTube, but mostly emails coming in about the same topic over and over again. And you know what? Here it is. They're thinking what you're thinking. And the reason why you guys are in separation is because you created it through your past belief system. 
Okay, it's not it's not very hard to understand if you're coming from, you know, as many experiences as I've had with my clients. But sometimes it's hard to, for someone to understand if they have not completely realized um, how their belief system has affected their life thus far, and. Beliefs die hard. Old beliefs die really hard. And some people are very resistant to changing them. And that's the system in place. It fights for its survival. And so you are over there thinking that all you need to adjust is to manifest your SP somehow, some way, through some magic spell and potion or a visualization or an affirmation. Meanwhile, the answer is you. So if you manifested a certain shitty version of this person or a person who doesn't even probably belong in your life in the first place or someone who really doesn't treat you well or who chose somebody else or who chose to behave in a way that just is not agreeable with you, understand that this this didn't come by chance. You have created this version of person to show yourself the insides of your consciousness, okay? It's all outpictured, as Neville Goddard says. And so my job as a coach is to point it out to you and say, do you see what I see? This, these are the contents of your consciousness. So if you don't process the emotions behind your belief systems, if you start rebottling me as a coach and tell me what to do or what not to do in coaching with you, which by the way, I find hilarious, is like tell, telling Tina Turner how to fucking dance or sing or telling, you know, Elon Musk how to construct a fucking car. Let me do my job, my darling. You just, you know, follow along. <laughs> Maybe you learn something. If I'm, I am a mirror as a coach, I am a mirror. I'm reflecting back to you what you're telling me, except I'm educated enough to tell you what you need to do with this piece of fucking information, if you let me. And so the SP is just your mirror. They're mirroring back to you what you've got going on. So when you're trying to manifest them back, Instead of focusing so much about on your SP and why they left and why the drama happened and this and that and the fucking other, why don't you focus on yourself and invest in producing a better version of yourself, which is what my coaching is all about, ultimately. We go through different stages in my coaching, not the least you know, important of which, which is the most important part in my coaching, is processing emotions behind your belief system is the most important thing. It's like taking out the garbage out of your living room so that you can have champagne or tea in your living room with lovely guests. Creating a new version of your SP requires that. You will never, and I mean never, in a million fucking years manifest a better version of circumstances, events, or people if you don't deal with the proverbial garbage in the living room of your emotions associated with past programming. Can I tell you this again? You will never, and I mean never, manifest anything different other than what you have been manifesting unless you take out the garbage in the living room of your mind of the unprocessed emotions due to the belief system that you've picked up during your trauma, drama, panorama, whatever you lived through, period. And I mean fucking period. And that's not pleasant. That's not easy. It's hard. Yes. But like I said, dedicating your um, two to three months in my coaching, sometimes more, different people, different stories. So it could be four or five months in some cases. I've had difficult cases where, not to say that somebody was difficult, but it's just, you know, it's challenging. There was a challenging life. There was a challenging atmosphere growing up. There was a, um, a lot of stuff to process, right? So it takes a lot longer for somebody. But even if... 
it takes you five months to do it, I would say that's a pretty fucking good deal when compared to the years and years of dysfunction and understanding that once you exit my coaching, you have all the tools, you're fully processed and you have all the tools um, to create something completely different. And 90% of the time, by the time people exit my coaching, they come out with solid manifestations that completely indicate that this person is now changed. Even if it's a little bit, it's, it's a so-called miracle start popping out in, in their life and they're creating something that they actually been wanting to manifest for, for quite some time, all because they have let go of that garbage. And so your SP is not with you because of this, has nothing to do with them has nothing to do with them loving you or not loving you or you, you know, being a good person or a bad person, good enough or bad enough. Your belief system it what is what repelled this person in the first place or created them to be the way they are. And so when I say that your SP, bringing back your SP is the least of your worries, it is true. You shouldn't be so concerned about bringing back somebody it will come naturally when you go to work on yourself and understand how it happened in the first place. Because many people say, you know, if I could just change them, if I could just bring them back, if I could just manifest marriage with them, everything will be okay. Really? No, it won't. That's a recipe for disaster. Hello? No, no. You, okay, let's just say... You know, the universe is so benevolent, it doesn't let you manifest shit that you don't belong manifesting until you actually fix yourself. And here's why. It's actually completely 100% on your side because let's just say you're in your dysfunction, <clears throat> you're still hanging on to so many different things that you shouldn't be hanging on to in your beliefs. And now here you are, you manifested your SP back and you got married to them by some miracle quote unquote. And now here you are. You are with the same belief systems, with the same emotion garbage, and you're married to this person. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to be a complete and utter catastrophe. So in fact, the universe is giving you a chance with the separation to fix your shed, to go back into manifestational game, prepared to the teeth, fully prepared to create something that it will be amazing and magnificent, but that will actually stay for the long term. And so in effect, your SP reflect, is reflecting back to you what you're thinking about yourself. If you're thinking I'm not worthy, I don't deserve it, I this is you know too good to be true, and all the other things that people are thinking that usually drive the SP away or create a certain kind of version of that SP that is not preferable and not, you know, optimal for their happiness, that SP downloads that thought. Not only do they, they're made of that thought. You created that person out of your own consciousness, your thoughts, your insecurities, your, you know, whatever it is, the drama that you are filled with right now, is literally the makeup of that person. Before you even met that person, before you even um, started, you know, thinking about getting into a relationship, this was already in motion. This person was coming in ready to go with all this drama panorama. Why? Because there's nothing else to make anything out of other than yourself, out of, uh, other than your consciousness, okay? So there, is, there are no surprises. It's just you, you, and you. And so if you meet your mirror in the universe, you always do, don't be surprised that they act like an asshole or they treat you how you expect to be treated or that they abandon you because you have fears or insecurities or that they're, you know, they have some kind of like problems that, you know, maybe you overcame or you were fearing that they would have. All of this is your construction. And the only thing that needs to take place, like I said, 
is for you to fix your shed to see the reflection change. Nothing else will ever fix anything else but that. Now, you can play the victim all day long and, you know, you can say, Oh, Anna, you know, life is unfair, life is difficult and this and that and the other. And I will say, this is just your opinion. This is just a point of view. You can have another point of view if you change your program. For some people, life is very easy. You don't let it be easy. You see it as difficult and challenging because that's the program in place right now. Change is truly not for everybody, you know. I've met a lot of people now from YouTube. Like before that, like I said, I've dealt a lot with people who, you know, were mainly in entertainment business, like comedians, singers, um, actors, songwriters. And for the most part, they're go-getters. I mean, they have to be. You know, when you're in arts, you really have to be ballsy to kind of like make a stance, make a make a statement, make an appearance and all these kinds of things. But the more I get to know people of every day, which I really love helping, I, you know, and when I say everyday people in, in no way, shape or form, this is like, you know, me talking down to anybody. This just really means the world to me that I get to help people. It, it, sometimes I get really teary eyed when somebody leaves my coaching and they really thank me profoundly um, I derive a lot of pleasure out of that, you know, I mean, this is why I do what I do. But like I said, for everyday people, it, it isn't easy to believe this. It isn't easy. I've had people, um, coming into my coaching saying to me, you know, I just discovered you and you changed my mind around. I didn't believe in manifestation or I started um, following manifestation a year ago or a couple years ago and I was a non-believer in manifestation and now I don't know any other way and all these kinds of things, right? But my point is that I think in this kind of manifestational game, you really have to become a beast, you know, as if your life depended on it because it truly does. It truly does. There's, this is not a rehearsal. This is the main movie. You're, you're witnessing it right now. So the sooner you start, you know, you can start to realize that all of this is just a projection of your consciousness and has always been. You can become being in such a control of everything that happens in your life. It will blow your motherfucking mind. I'm not going to lie to you. It just is. And again, for a lot of people, it's very hard to download this. It really is. Because they're not used to this idea. Like, oh, who am I? Who am I to transmit a thought to my SP? Is it even allowed? Is it a sin? This is why some people call me Satan and some kind of like a black magician. First of all, I'm a white witch, okay? Get it, the shit together. <laughs> the god of your reality what are you talking about they are under your command under your spell if you want to use this term under your complete control not in a manipulative way but in a manifestational way but the only way right the only way you get to sit behind the wheel of your life is to first of all understand who you are and what kind of shit you have to deal with to become a better person. And secondly, get behind the fucking wheel, all right? And stop attributing importance to other shit that doesn't fucking matter, like 3D. So you're not in contact with this person right now. So if you manifested a shitty version of that person, first of all, you can always change it. But change starts with accepting what the fuck you created thus far. If you can't admit to yourself that you created something shitty and why you did that, we have no conversation. That's number one. You need to accept that you fucked up. You fucked it up. Okay, fine. No problem. You get to fuck up plenty just to get shit right. Why did you do it? 
because of X, Y, and Z in your belief system. Great, fantastic information. Okay, this is excellent information. Why? Because now you can reverse engineer it and know what you did before, how you did it, and now you're going to use it to your advantage. So if before I was insecure, I was thinking that I don't deserve the guy I want or the girl I want or that I'm this, that, and the other and I'm not good enough and blah, 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 blah. If I work on myself and realize, no, wait a minute, I actually have a lot of great qualities. These are just belief systems that I've picked up from other people. They are not me. This is not my fucking story. My story is one of success, one of triumph over the bullshit fucking belief systems of before. Oh, great. So now I get to reverse engineer it and create an entirely different situation. I manifested something shitty to show myself how powerful I am. Reverse engineering means you create something that you actually want. Because if you're that powerful, you can create something shitty. Guess what? It takes a lot of power to create something shitty. Easy. The good things are easy. The hard thing is to create something really shitty because the universe is always on your side. And so there's nothing else to do but fix your shit. Because they are thinking what you're thinking. Every time somebody asks me in my coach it asks me in my coaching and says, What do you think they're thinking right now? And I'm like, What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Seriously. This is a double meaning question. What do you think they're thinking? And what do you think? Right? So they're thinking what you're thinking. Why? Because you transmitting your thoughts to them every single waking moment, every single waking moment you're transmitting thoughts about you're not being not de- not worthy, not deserving, um, less than, inadequate, blah 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 blah, whatever your case is, and they pick up on those things and say they're not deserving. Mm, this is not the person for me. I'd rather be with somebody deserving. They clearly think I'm, they're not deserving of being with me. So why would I be with a person like that? You're literally pushing them away from you with all of the shit. Now, I get it. Parenthesis here. And by the way, there's a link below to now. I, I'm, I guess I'm uh, with like t-shirts now. There are t-shirts now that you can buy with my sayings. I forgot to say this in the beginning. Um, it's like this YouTube thing where, you know, I have nothing to do with it. I just put my sayings on the t-shirts. They make the shit and they sell the shit and I get some percentage of it some, somehow. But basically, uh, let me know how it goes. And, um, if it doesn't work, then I'll create my own t-shirts, but it just takes more time. Okay. So parenthesis here, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. You basically have the power to change their mind in every moment. Once you process your emotions, once you, once you work on your beliefs, you create an entirely different situation for yourself. You don't even have to pick up the phone or email them or anything like that. The aura that radiates from you reverberates to the entirety of the universe. Okay, if before you thought, I'm not good, da da da, ba da do, ba da do, and now you start thinking, I'm the golden Buddha of the universe. I'm the queen or the king of my my world. What I say matters. What I say goes. I create gold out of nothing. Okay, I am the gold. I am the money. I am the prize. I am the the most wonderful human being that could ever lay their eyes on. They are mesmerized um, by me. You're creating a different person in them. It's not that person that you left behind or that not, it's not that person that left you behind. It's an entirely different person in the parallel reality of your choosing. But you see how you couldn't have attracted that version without becoming somebody new. It doesn't exist. It defies physics. It's just absolutely impossible. It doesn't correspond. So when you start thinking of yourself this way, that you're the golden Buddha, that you're the prize and this and that, they get the message 
immediately. It's like you press the text, ding, it's there. They got the fucking message. And now it's a matter of you staying stable in your vibration and understanding that it, it's only what you think matters. Only what you think matters. That's it. It materializes in your universe and everybody around you is made of your energy. Today, this person tells you something, tomorrow they can change their mind and say something else. It doesn't really matter. Maybe they had a bad day, maybe whatever. Maybe you had a thought about them that wasn't so great and that's what made that reaction. Tomorrow you can change it. Everything is completely malleable. And lastly, I want to leave you with this. Think of it as a mirror. You're walking up to the mirror and you're complaining why the person isn't smiling in the mirror. Whereas you smile, is, is if you smile, the person, the reflection smiles back. The entire world is your reflection. If you smile, they smile. If you think good thoughts about them, they think good thoughts about you. It's an invisible telephone. It's an invisible internet. It's, it's way more powerful, actually, the, than the internet and the telephone because it's instantaneous. It's instantaneous. Well, you might say, well, nothing is happening on the outside, Anna. How the fuck would I know if anything has changed? Mm, you, you just have to know. You just have to know. Sometimes a person starts thinking, why am I thinking this thought? They might resist it. They might question it. Where is this coming from? But if you persist in your assumption and you continue thinking these things, they will have no choice but to obey your will. Nobody has free will in your world. Absolutely no one. If you instruct them all of a sudden and say, this is the program now, this is what we're thinking now. You're under my spell, you're under my command, you're coming back and you're becoming this person that I really want you to be. Well, guess what? It's not that person from the past, like I said. It's a brand new person. But the reason this was even possible is because you became a new person. It wouldn't have been possible for it happen to happen otherwise. Absolutely not. And you know what else? Once you bring your SP back or manifest a new one or whatever it is you're doing, you will look back at your past self and question why were you even so obsessed about it? Because like I said, bringing back your SP is the least of your worries. The mo number one priority in your life should be making yourself the new version and everything else just kind of like follows along with that. Thank you very much for listening. All the information for me is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.